AS Arbinet 2015 uh, plant pathology. These are all uh, memory based question papers. Uh, those who wrote uh, 2015 net question. So we have collected from them. So the first one is uh, Cresic phase is uh, found in. So here uh, the answers are based on the options given in the exams because sometimes the answers might not correlate with the questions given. So but these are purely based on the options uh, given in the exams. There might be little bit mistakes also. Please do refer and update the information as well. And the first one is a crescent phase is a found in crescent phase is a phase generally would observe in a disease of rice that is called a bacterial blight of rice which is caused by xanthomonas varese pathovar varese right so here in this disease there are mainly three stages which we do observe yellow leaf phase crescent phase and one blight phase i think so there are three phases are there among the three phases this is a crescent phase is a very destructive and a very important phase when it comes to this bacterial blight of rice and we do expect like maybe other kinds of questions also like bacterial blight of rice is caused by other kinds of questions generally this uh, this is a repeatedly asked question even though if you refer uh, the later uh, you know 2018 to or maybe other kinds of entrance exams or maybe many kind of uh, uh, you know like uh, mcq kind of based questions also this was the repeatedly asked question so crescent phase generally observed in bacterial blight of rice so which lime is referred as a quick lime so generally quick lime is a calcium oxide calcium oxide is generally considered as a quick lime okay bodo mixture was uh, discovered by so bodo mixture was discovered by pme millard or we can also call this bodo mixture as a holy water because this fungicide is uh, one of the miraculous fungicide that was developed by millard in 1882 to in between 1885 uh, especially recommended for the management of uh, grapes uh, downy mildew fungus which is caused by uh, plasma para viticola right so in later stages uh, not only for grapes uh, downy mildew it is also recommended for the other crops as well like uh, for lead blight of potato also in during 1880s uh, this uh, copper fungicide was uh, extensively used for the management of uh, lead blight of potato also but this bodo mixture was extensively developed for grapes downy mildew which is caused by plasma para viticola okay it was developed by milladet which of the following fungicide does not produce a juice spore? Maybe options, maybe different kind of options might may be given, like maybe albugo, pithium, phytophthora kinds of uh, uh, options may be given. But among the things, uh, this unsinula nicator, which is actually powdery mildew. Powdery mildew pathogens are actually comes under uh, this ascomycota. Ascomycota never produces juice spores, right? It will produce conidia as asexual spore. So maybe if you see this umycota group of fungi, like pithium, phytophthora, albugo, all downy mildews generally produces asexual spore as a juice spore. So since this uncinella nicator is a powdery mildew pathogen, especially powdery mildew of grapes, which is caused by uncinella nicator. Now this uncinella nicator name change to erisiphae nicator. New name of grapes powdery mildew is erisiphae nicator. Previously it is called as uncinella nicator. Since the question is like which of the not following produces juice spore means options may be other options like uh, albugo maybe other kinds of pathogen where it produces juice spores among the given option this uncellular nicator which causes powder mildew where they produce conidia so no juice spores are produced okay what is the perfect stage of uh, rhizoctonia solani generally the perfect stage of rhizoctonia solani is uh, thanatophorus cucumeris what is this a uh, perfect stage perfect stage means sexual stage or we can also call as a teleomorphic stage our imperfect stage means asexual stage or we can also call as anamorphic stage. Rhizoctonia solani is the anamorph or asexual stage whereas the teleomorph is thanatophorus cucumeris. Tetrazoleum test is used for generally tetrazoleum test is an identification test generally used for the recommend uh, recommended for the management or uh, sorry identification of uh, I think banana bunch it up I think so. Uh, used for uh, see uh, they have given uh, it is also used for uh, seed viability test i think there might be one more thing maybe genetics people will throw better knowledge on this but this uh, tetrazoleum test is also used for the seed viability let me show you a couple of other uh, identification tests generally we do study in plant pathology yeah first one is uh, sodium hydroxide test NaOH generally used for kernel burnt of uh, wheat and ergot whereas a brain flotation technique used for the wheat thundu disease Who's out to test the generally recommended for the BLB, rice bacterial uh, leaf blight. Not only BLB, but also all kinds of bacterial diseases. We do recommend a test called who's out test for the identification. 
Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and uh, effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses. Very efficient and effective method. Adelisa Enzyme Linked Immuno Sorbent Assay that is recommended for the identification of plant viruses
mercury chloride used for mercury chloride generally used for surface sterilization now mercury chloride is actually banned instead of mercury chloride we do have another chemical called sodium hypochlorite now we will see the couple of uh, uh, the citri i mean sorry this uh, surface disinfectants for example if we can see this uh, ethanol generally ethanol can be used at the rate of 70 to 95 percent concentration that is recommended for uh, disinfection of uh, in instruments or various other kinds of bench tops sprit 90 percent we can also use 99.9 percent .9%. and mercury chloride yeah mercury chloride the concentration is also very very important the concentration of mercury chloride used is 0.1 percent take a look at this 0.1 percent mercury chloride was actually banned and now we are using sodium hypochlorite in fact of course mercury chloride available in india but uh, mercury chloride is actually banned so this is sodium hypochlorite the concentration is one percent and it is also important what is the concentration of mercury chloride is 0.1 what is the concentration of sodium hypochlorite one percent like that concentration is also very important propylene oxide 0.1 percent formaldehyde 1 is to 10 ratio if you are using ultraviolet less for example in uh, laminar flow chamber the general recommend 15 to 30 minutes these are all a the couple of uh, surface sterilizing uh, agents so coming back uh, yeah, coming back uh, to this, uh, generally the mercury chloride is one of the surface uh, sterilizing agent. We do recommend at the rate of 0.1% concentration. The next one is uh, the process that complete destruction of microorganisms. What is the process of uh, destruction or killing of microorganisms? Generally, we can call it a sterilization, right? It is a sterilization. Next one is a sigmoid curve is uh, formed in polycyclic diseases. Now we will see what is this monocyclic, polycyclic, polyatic. So the first one is if you see monocyclic, uh, so the pathogen completes in uh, only one life cycle in a cropping season, not any year. Okay, so the pathogen completes a uh, one life cycle in a cropping season is called monocyclic. Mono means single, cyclic means cycle. So in a cropping season, the pathogen completes only one cycle that is called monocyclic. Monocyclic diseases are also called as uh, simple interest diseases where the rate of inoculum is 0.02 units per day and this monocyclic disease produces saturation curve curve is very very important along with the sometimes we do expect examples also examples like uh, smuts root rots and wilts that actually comes under this monocyclic disease coming to the next one polycyclic diseases poly means many cyclic means cycles so the pathogen contain uh, completes many number of cycles in a single cropping season that is called polycyclic this polycyclic disease rate of inoculum is 0.1 to 0.5 units per day and the disease curve generally will produce sigmoid curve or s shape curve generally powder mildew diseases rust diseases leaf spots general airborne diseases and late blight of potato rice blast all are comes under this polycyclic diseases the next one is a polyetic so the pathogen completes only one cycle or, or, or a pathogen requires uh, two to three years to complete one cycle. So this is type of uh, pathogens are called as polycyclic pathogens. So monocyclic otherwise called as a simple interested diseases. Polycyclic otherwise called as a compound interested diseases. This polyatric disease, the rate of inoculum is 0 0.02 to 2.3 units per day. Whereas this polycyclic diseases, polyatric disease produces a bimodal curve monocyclic saturation curve polycyclic sigmoid curve or a shape curve polyatic bimodal curve examples are citrus disease virus dutch elm disease and fungal vascular wheels and mycoplasma yellowsis are the examples in continuation so black out of uh, potato is caused by black out of potato is oxygen deficiency concentric rings can be observed in generally concentric rings is the special character of alternate area very few cases we can also observe in uh, sarcosporolis spot also but in majority of the cases the specific uh, symptom of uh, uh, this uh, uh, concentric rings is generally alternate area blood generally alternate area blood is uh, uh, whereas uh, concentric rings can be observed this uh, uh, concentric rings can be observed among the given option this is early blight of potato because early blight of potato and tomato is caused by alternate area solani right it's like that okay the next one is uh, uh, panama built of banana is caused by which is caused by fusarium oxysporum pharma species cubens vertical and horizontal resistance was uh, given by so the concept of vertical and horizontal resistance was given by j e van der plank he is generally considered as father of uh, plant disease epidemiology. Tundu disease of wheat is uh, transmitted by Tundu disease or wheat ear corkular uh, uh, yellow disease of uh, 
wheat generally called Tundu disease or wheat ear corkle disease generally known to be transmitted by nematode called Angunatri disease. Just now we have discussed in the first slide, right? Rice carrier disease is due to zinc deficiency. Zinc deficiency. It is a repeatedly asked question, okay? Study of fungus is called, study of fungus is called mycology or we can also call it as fungology. So generally the meaning of mycology is study of mushrooms. In later days, of course, mushrooms also comes under uh, uh, this uh, section of mycology, right? So later uh, for our understanding, it is slightly changed into study of fungi is called mycology. Bardner viruses are the genome they are asking. Actually, they contain uh, double stranded DNA as a genome. Nepo viruses are uh, transmitted by what is Nepo? Nuclear uh, uh, polyhedral viruses or nuclear uh, some, something like that will be there, right? So, this uh, Nepo viruses are known to be not only Nepo, both Nepo and Netu. Nuclear uh, transmitted polyhedral viruses or nuclear uh, polyhedral, something there will be a, uh, in expansion is there, right? So generally, this both Nepo and Netu viruses are known to be transmitted by nematodes like Trigodorus, Paratrigodorus, Langadorus, Paralangadorus, like that, right? Solar heat treatment was given by solar heat treatment was given by J C Luthra and Sutter. So by just uh, strapping the solar light by killing the plant pathogens. So this is called solar heat treatment and the solar heat treatment is only effective during summer time only. Okay, not in winter or some other time. So yellowwing mosaic of yellowwing mosaic viruses transmitted by Bende yellowwing mosaic viruses transmitted by white flies Bemisia tabaci. Very important one. Cochleobolus or cochleobolus causes which disease? Generally this cochleobolus miabinus is a teleomorphic stage of a brown leaf spot of rice or Bengal famine. So this brown leaf spot of rice is also known as Bengal famine because that is a outbreak in uh, Bengal. That's why it's called as Bengal famine. So it is caused by Helminthosporium varizae or Bipolaris varizae. And the teleomorphic stage or uh, sexual stage is Cochleobolus miabinus. So indirectly they are asking Cochleobolus causes which disease? Brown leaf spot of rice only. So based on the options, okay. Apothecia is formed by among the given options. So this is Sclerotinia, okay. It will produce some cup-like apothecia, some saddle or uh, some kind of, uh, you know, uh, this kind of apothecia, mushroom shaped or some kind of apothecia will produce, right? So, aflatoxins are produced by general aflatoxins are mainly produced by aspergillus flavus. Maybe they have given other options like fusarium or maybe other kinds of things, but generally, these aflatoxins are known, pro known to produce by aspergillus species. The next one is Astoria absentin. Astoria, no, it's a wrong answer because Astoria is present in Albugo, right? So, Albugo produces a knob like Astoria. Maybe there is a, some uh, error was there. Probably the Pythium uh, are known to uh, not producing uh, any Hastoria uh, in Umaikota group of fungi. May, maybe based on the options, it is supposed to be Pythium, but not Pythoptera because this Pythoptera, sorry, not Albugo because this Albugo produces a knob like Hastoria. Grape fan leaf viruses are transmitted by Grape fan leaf viruses transmitted by Ziphinema index. Heterosis nature of uh, rust fungi was uh, given by. Heterosium, which means the pathogen requires uh, two different hosts to complete the life cycle, is called heterosious nature. So, this heterosious nature of rust fungi was first identified by Anton de Berry. Who is this Anton de Berry? Father of plant pathology, right? First plant bacterial disease was uh, discovered by. So, that's why this uh, TJ Burrill, actually, TJ Burrill was the one who discovered this first plant bacterial disease. So, this TJ Burrill identified the first plant bacterial disease that is a fire blight of apple, which is caused by Irvinia amylovora. The previous name of Irvinia amylovora is Micrococcus amylovorus, later name changed to Irvinia amylovora. So, in 1882, he reported the first plant bacteriology, that's why it is called, he is called as founder of plant bacteriology. Okay. And uh, the causal agent of white rust fungus. Generally, white rust is caused by albugo candida or albugo blitti. Generally, they have given options albugo candida. Pectinolytic enzymes are produced by. So, among the given options, uh, this irvinia produces uh, very important one. Pectinolytic and uh, pectinolytic important. So, this pectinolytic enzymes are cell wall degrading enzymes. For example, it degrades the cell wall. That's why if you take an example of uh, soft rot of carrot, uh, which is caused by irvinia keratovara, subspecies keratovara, right? So, this uh, why this carrot is just uh, some kind of a watery ooze out or uh, softening of tissues happen because it produces an enzyme called pectinolytic enzymes that actually degrades the tissues like a watery softening uh, can be observed. 
whatever the cervinium infects uh, this since it is producing the pectinolytic enzymes it will produce the i mean like it degrades the uh, plant tissues that's why in softening or watery ooze out can be observed in the uh, soft rot of carrot so it is a very important one this pectinolytic enzymes are produced by the irvinia of course others also produces but this irvinia is very important one so coffee rust epidemic is reported from it was first reported from sri lanka in 18 around 1868 or 1867 time okay citrus exocortosis is disease is caused by citrus exocortosis is disease is caused by viride okay seed plot technique uh, was used for seed plot technique uh, generally used for the production of uh, production from potato scab okay fungicide effective against phytophthora so rather than phytophthora i would say fungicide effective against to who make out a group of fungi that is a metalloxyl so metalloxyl is uh, the fungicide that is especially recommended for all who make this group of fungicide so you can take an example of pythium phytophthora uh, all bugo all downy mildew group of fungicide this metalloxyl is very effective rsd sugarcane rotten stunting disease is caused by so they have given old option uh, previously it is known to be caused by clavibacter zeili subspecies zeili now it is called as a lifesonia zeili lifesonia zeili subspecies zeili there is a new name and this question was also asked in 2000 uh 21 i think so this is sugarcane rotten stunting is caused by they have given uh, the old name clavibacter zeili subspecies zeili they have given old name now it is called as lifesonia zeili subspecies zeili sugarcane rotten stunting meristem tip culture is given by morel and martin 1952 peronosporals contains generally all peronosporals mostly it is downy mildew okay oomycetes cell wall is made up of fungal cell wall is made up of uh, chitin whereas oomycota group of cell wall is made up of cellulose okay perfect stage of clotrotrichum falcatum clotrotrichum falcatum is the uh, anamorphic stage the teleomorphic stage is glomerella cingulate or glomerella generally this clotrotrichum causes anthrogonous kind of diseases whereas the perfect stage is glomerella rice to grow virus is transmitted by rice to grow virus is transmitted by a leaf hopper uh, the scientific name is uh, uh, nephrotitic virus is very important one tab toxin tab toxin is also called as t toxin i think so so it was produced by a bacteria called pseudo pseudomonas syringae pathovar tabaci so sometimes we do expect what is the mode of action of tab toxin it inhibits a beta tubulin biosynthesis or maybe uh murin biosynthesis maybe uh, not sure i couldn't able to recall it this is a beta tubulin biosynthesis Uh, i think so uh, please refer this what is the mode of action of this uh, tab toxin also generally this tab toxin is known to produce by a bacteria called pseudomonas syringae pathovar uh, tabaci inhibits uh, beta tubulin biosynthesis uh, most uh, i think uh, the mode of action i am not sure please refer uh, lichens are generally the lichens are association between uh, fungi and algae right and the seed treatment chemical uh, that is used against uh, loose mud of uh, wheat there is a for all smut diseases we do recommend a, 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 a fungicide called vitavax the chemical name is carboxin carboxin uh, the trade name is vitavax so for all smut diseases we do recommend a seed treatment with vitavax that is a carboxin for all rust fungicide we do recommend a fungicide called oxycarboxin trade name is plantvax for rust oxycarboxin plantvax for smut uh, carboxin vitavax which are the following is not a basidium mycetes group of fungi so maybe they have given rust smut other kinds of things the sketomium globosum is not a basidium mycetes group of fungi probably it may be dascomycote i think so the next one is which of the following is not a systemic fungicide tilt so they have given a trade name tilt what is the tilt uh, propicon propiconazole i think so yeah so propiconazole the trade name is tilt okay which is not a systemic fungus downy mildew fungus plasma parabeticola among the given options this generally downy mildew fungi are uh, uh, this plasma parabeticola grapes downy mildew right orobanki orobanki is ex- best example of a total root parasite right so total stem parasite means cascota total root parasite means orobanki the next one is uh, which one is known as the rust race we have already this question came again uh, they have given again which of the one is a rust race uganda 19 and ug19 dalia mosaic virus the genome is there double stranded dna plant pathogenic bacterium that was first discovered by tj barl this was also repeatedly asked genome of cyanobacteria uh, which consists of double stranded linear dna okay so fungi and diseases in plants fungi and plant diseases there are two books are there 
here fungi and diseases in plants if you're starting with fungi and diseases in plants it is ej butler we consider as father of plant pathology in india if the a question come like this like fungi and plant diseases it was written by bb munkur uh, the one who started ips indian pathological society okay the next one is a spherical and bacilliform virus generally rice tumor virus consists of two particles rice tumor bacilliform virus and rice tumor spherical virus both particles are required for the efficient infection or else no disease will occur right so grape fan leaf viruses are transmitted by it is the first reported virus that is known to be transmitted by nematode that is a grape fan leaf virus that is known to be transmitted by a nematode called zifinima index the next one fungicide act as a quinone outside inhibitor among the given options this propiconazole or just now we discussed tilt right this act as a quinone outside inhibitor blast of rice is controlled by there is a specific fungicide for this uh, rice blast which is caused by pyricularia varice that uh, uh, the fungicide is the tricyclozole it is also sending uh, you know uh, trading with the trade names of uh, beam bin blastinius like that other trade names are there but a very specific fungicide for rice blast is called a tricyclozole and repeatedly asked question fungus used for the bycontrol of soil bound pathogen trichoderma harjan among the given options maybe they have given other options but uh, we can also use pseudomonas fluorescens and as well as uh, bacillus subtilis and other species as well but among uh, the other bycontrol agent this trichoderma is a very famous and most extensively and widely used uh, soil bound uh, uh, bycontrol agent bodo mixer is uh, used against we have discussed right it is uh, developed by millard it is used against downy mildew of grapes indian pathological society was founded by bb munkur meristem tip culture was uh, used for generally this uh, meristem tip culture was extensively recommended for the elimination of plant viruses right which term is used for the inoculum multiplication so the time period between uh, infection and inoculation or uh, the expression of symptoms that is called incubation period generally okay so ooze out test used for bacterial disease for all bacterial disease we do recommend ooze out test right pytoplasma restricted to phloem tissues okay because why only this pytoplasma is restricted to phloem because uh, uh, this uh, phloem vessels contains high amount of uh, sterols the sterols are uh, uh, very essential for the growth and development of pytoplasma that's why this pytoplasma is extensively restricted to phloem vessels zibberellin responsible for the which disease in rice there is a disease called foolish seedling disease which is caused by zibberella so due to the production of excess amount of this zibberella there is a disease occurs in the rice called foolish seedling disease is also called as bacane disease since they have mentioned only one option foolish seedling disease also called as bacane disease okay button mushroom belong to the genus agaricus okay agaricus bisporus here we must remember all the answers are given based on the options given in the exam based on the options only we have uh, presented the information here the above questions are purely memory based we somehow we gathered only 71 because the 150 questions were there but somehow we managed to gather only 71 and uh, mistakes may be present please do refer for the updated information in such cases if you find the mistaken information and please uh, let us know also we will also very happy to revise the information in the upcoming editions as well so further more uh, doubts or uh, for further more information students can refer this book a vision into plant pathology a complete student version for further doubts guidance and uh, clarity uh, students can reach us at www.geekresearcher.com and we have also published other uh, net related videos as well and if you just go and take a look at the playlist section so you'll find uh, other net related videos and uh, stay geeky and stay tuned we are team geeky researchers